Here we go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So I have another five day keto egg fast video for you guys. I'm gonna share what I ate the last five days, also how I felt my ketone and glucose levels, and of course my results. I love doing these egg fast videos for you guys. I love doing the egg fast in general. It's just a great way to get back on track, uh, break through a weight loss plateau, or just start your journey and you just wanna start fresh, you wanna de-bloat and just get your mind right. The egg fast does that for me. If you do not know what an egg fast is, check out this video right here. I list all of the rules also, uh, where it was developed, who developed it, why you should do it, when you should do it, all the good stuff. So definitely check out that video first. And I also have other Keto Egg Fast videos where I share what I eat and give you some meal ideas as well. And those will be at the end of this video linked in the card section. I'll also drop them down below. Also, everything that you're going to see in this video, anything that I talk about, about or mention is always going to be down in the description below. I also provide some tools that can help you on your keto journey, maybe just to get started or help you keep going. And the items and products that I personally use and love, I share everything down below and where I got them. I also have to say that I am not a doctor or a medical professional. So this channel is just based off of my personal experience with weight loss, keto, food addiction, and everything that comes with it. So if you do have any questions at all, please always consult your doctor. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and follow my journey. This channel is all about my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds. I am a girl that has lived with a food addiction her whole life. I have been obese my entire life. Overcoming the food addiction is the biggest obstacle in my journey and learning how to do this trying to figure this out has been very challenging, but also rewarding in a lot of ways. I have not yet arrived. I still have a long way to go as far as my mentality and where I need to be in order to be successful with my weight loss journey, not only to get to my goal weight, but be able to maintain a healthy lifestyle for the rest of my life, to develop that good, healthy relationship with food, which is the missing piece of this puzzle. That is what I have always been missing every single time I've tried to lose weight before. And I've always tried to just lose weight. I just wanted to lose weight. But this journey is so much more than just losing weight. It's not about the number on the scale. It's about truly finding yourself and accepting yourself and accepting the fact that I have issues that I need to work out. I got demons that I need to get rid of and it's not an easy journey, but I share everything with you guys. I wish that I could stand here and say that it's mostly easy that yeah, there are some hard times and I go through some hard moments, I go through some screw ups, but I just get back on track and I just keep going, which is true, but there are moments in this journey where I feel like I'm barely hanging on. Like I've come so far and while I've lost over 60 pounds in the last 48 weeks, 147 pounds from my highest weight, sometimes I feel like I still don't know what I'm doing, you know? Like, and it, that's because I have lived this way for 40 years. I'm 40 years old, and that is a long time to live a certain way and then try to create this whole new life for myself, create new healthy habits, and, you know, break those old self destructive habits. It is so hard to do. I'm gonna be honest with you, sometimes I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing, but I am just gonna keep going. And whenever I do fall off track, the egg fast always brings me back. It does, it just keeps me, it gets me back on track and it helps center me, gets me back into the keto life that I love so much. And I just, I share everything with you guys. You know, I'm a very honest person. And if you subscribe to my channel, please know that you're not gonna see someone perfect. You're not going to see someone who consistently loses weight every week. You're gonna see imperfection. You're gonna see some screw ups. But what I've realized is that it's just, it's not about the screw up. It's about the ability to get back on track. We are always going to screw up. And I know that I say this all the time because, because it's true. Every single one of us is going to screw up. And if we are so fixated on that screw up, 
on that failure, then it's so much harder to get back on track. If we just accept it, just accept that we're going to screw up and then just keep going, just keep getting back up. That is what we need to do. Give ourselves some grace. That is the biggest thing that I have learned in this journey. And I encourage you to do the same. It will make it so much easier on you. All right, guys, let's just get into the egg fast video, day one through five. Let's go. All right, guys, so first day of the five-day keto egg fast, and I started my morning with my Skinny Brew coffee, as always, my favorite coffee. It's an instant coffee, French roast flavor, and it just, it has double the amount of caffeine than a regular cup of coffee. It's one of my products, and that is below if you wanna check it out, but I have it every day need it every day, <laughs> helps me keep up, keep up with my kids. So yeah, and it also helps me through my fast. I do dirty fasting, which means that I stay under 50 calories roughly, so I don't do clean fasting, but I do fast all morning. I personally add unsweetened vanilla almond milk to my coffee and also French vanilla nut pods, which I do get on Amazon. It's a dairy-free unsweetened creamer and they're just really good. I don't like my coffee sweet, so that's how I like it. And I did put the link uh, for the nut pods down below. I've also tried the toasted marshmallow, which is really good. Um, and that's below as well if you guys want to check it out. So it is now almost noon. So I am going to be having my favorite egg sandwich, my chaffle sandwich uh, with two eggs and a piece of American cheese. And I absolutely love this chaffle sandwich, but I have something to show you guys. I have a new toy. I bought a new Dash waffle maker. So the one I had before was the little red one that you get on Amazon and it only cooks one chaffle at a time, which worked, works great, love it. <laughs> but I wanted to get myself something new that would make more chaffles at one time. So this is what I got. So I got a new Dash waffle maker that makes mini waffles or chaffles in my case and it makes four. So I will be making usually only two, but I love that it gives me the option to make four at one time because you can make some ahead of time and uh, keep them in the fridge. You can even freeze them and then just toast them when you're ready to uh, eat them. I am gonna put the link to uh, this dash below if you guys wanna get one too. I get it right on Amazon. So I've never used it yet. I'm using it for the first time uh, right now. So let's go make a chaffle sandwich. So I just finished the chaffles and they don't come out as crispy as my other ones. So I think I may need to add a little bit more cheese uh, to it, but we will tweak it as we go. I love that it has the overflow on it though. So if I do put a little bit too much of the batter, then it goes into the overflow section. So that's pretty cool. And as for my chaffle mix, I always make um, chaffle mix ahead of time. So because I have chaffles every single day, mostly, I can just get it from the fridge and then just easily make chaffles. So I actually mix together four eggs with four tablespoons of mayonnaise and two ounces of cream cheese. You can actually check out this video right here and I show you exactly how I make my chaffles in detail. But I always keep the batter in the fridge and uh, yeah, quick tip, don't leave your chaffle batter where your toddler can reach it. Miss <sighs> <Ms>. Riley. <laughs> 
All right, guys, so I'm gonna go eat my chaffle sandwich. It looks really good. And I'll meet you back here or wherever for dinner. All right, guys, so please excuse the way I look. I just took a shower, had dinner. So for snacks today, I had another Skinny Brew coffee and I had two hard boiled eggs. And for dinner, I made chaffles again. So if you have been following my journey, you know that I'm a chaffleaholic. If you're new to my channel, be prepared to see lots of chaffles. I love chaffles. So that is what I had for dinner. And oh my gosh, guys, I used my new dash again and I absolutely love it because it this is such a time saver. I made them without the cheese this time, so like an actual waffle. And I used Chalk Zero maple syrup, which is so good. It's thick and just so yummy. It tastes just like the regular. I leave out the cheese for these ones, obviously, because I don't want a savory chaffle. I want a sweet chaffle. And so whenever I do make those kinds of chaffles, I make four. And when I was using my mini dash that just made one, it would take forever. And, you know, the ones that I would make first would get cold and Oh, I just made four at one time and it was just so super quick and it's just awesome. You guys have to get one. It's it's great. And I love, like I said before, I love the overflow um, compartments. Is that what you call them? Because there's no mess and it's just, it's great. It's freaking awesome, worth the money. Definitely check it out. I have the link below. All right, so I'm gonna be testing my glucose and my ketones. And someone actually made a comment on one of my videos and said that our ketones are higher at night, which I did not know. So I appreciate that information. So I'm going to test it uh, every night instead of every morning. So yeah, let's go. We'll do glucose first. Oops, I'm like leaking. And I just ate dinner, so that makes sense. So that's actually really high. Now we'll do the ketones. I'm like leaking blood. And I was not in ketosis yesterday, so this is just day one. I'm not expecting to be back just yet. Which I am not, but I'm pretty close, 0.3. On my way. So that is what I had for day one. I'm just gonna give you a recap right here and I'll see you tomorrow. All right guys, so day two is done. I finished dinner, so let's just talk about a couple things today. I wanna share some stuff with you. So for breakfast, I did have my Skinny Brew coffee as always. For lunch, I had another chaffle sandwich, of course. This time it was made with two cheesy scrambled eggs and I had a piece of sharp cheddar cheese uh, with it. I did cook the eggs in one tablespoon of butter as well and for <laughs> snacks in between meals, I feel like I ate so much. I was hungry today. I don't know if it was physical hunger or emotional hunger. Sometimes I can't tell the difference between the two. But man, I was just wanting to eat. It was just one of those days. So I ate. I listened to my body. I actually had three hard boiled eggs and not at the same time, just spread out. Um, but I had four slices of sharp cheddar trees. Yeah, four. So I definitely don't recommend eating that much cheese uh, because you don't wanna consume too much cheese on the egg fast. The whole point is to consume uh, more eggs than you do cheese. Uh, but I did have a lot of eggs, but really four pieces of cheese was just too much anyway. I was just hungry, I wanted to snack, and so I did. For dinner, I just had two fried eggs uh, cooked over hard, and I did not cook them in butter, which is another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I love the egg fast. I love the way that it makes me feel, um, but I have felt like the last couple of times that I've done the egg fast, I was feeling nauseous at night. So when I do keto, my normal keto days, I consume high fat for my first meal, which is lunchtime. And then for dinner, it's always a high protein, low carb, lower fat meal. So I usually have like chicken and a veggie or steak and a veggie, some meat and a veggie. And I don't consume a lot of fat. And for lunch, I will do like my chaffles and my eggs, my avocado. I start out my days like that because it keeps me full throughout the day. Obviously, the more healthy fat you consume, the more full you're gonna feel. So I like to consume it for lunch, but if I consume it at night for dinner, it just, I don't know, like it, my body doesn't respond well to it. I don't like to eat a lot of fat at night. It just makes me feel kind of nauseous. And so doing the egg fast, obviously one of the rules, you're supposed to consume one tablespoon of healthy fat per egg, which I don't do that many, but it just kind of makes me feel sick. 
So I did not cook my eggs in butter tonight. So I just had the two fried eggs, that is it. Uh, so we will see if I feel nauseous tonight. So just keeping it lighter at night works for me. So, you know, that may help someone out there too. If you feel sick at night, try lowering your fat intake at night. And it's okay to, to break the rules a little bit on the egg fast. You do you, you do what's best for you and works for you. That's what I do. I also had another skinny brew coffee in the afternoon, uh, which I do always. So I had dinner about half hour ago and I'm going to wait another half hour to check my ketone levels, but I'm going to show you what they are at for tonight. I made the mistake last night by checking my glucose right after I ate. I'm so stupid. And I looked at it and I'm like, holy moly, 158. You know, <laughs> I've never been that high. Well, duh, you just ate. So obviously your glucose is gonna be higher right after you eat. You should wait at least an hour after eating to get an accurate reading. So I'm gonna wait an hour <laughs> before I take my levels again. And we're gonna see if I'm uh, in ketosis. I'm excited to see if I'm back into ketosis after two days. So yeah, let's go check my ketone levels in a half hour, but you'll see this right now. Alright guys, so here is a recap of day two. I will see you tomorrow for day three. Alright guys, so day three of the egg fast is done. So this morning I had my skinny beer coffee and I ate lunch around 12 o'clock and I had another chaffle egg sandwich, my favorite egg sandwich, two eggs. I usually leave them a little runny, but today I cooked them a little too long. Uh, so it was just two fried eggs really with a piece of American cheese in between my two crispy savory chaffles. Favorite sandwich. I had another skinny brew in the afternoon and then for a snack, which really is a second meal. So I do intermittent fasting, but I eat three times during my eating window. So I have three small meals uh, within my six hour eating window. And I don't typically follow a fasting schedule when I do the egg fast. I am a firm believer that you should eat when you're hungry. If you're hungry on the egg fast, eat some eggs, eat some cheese, you know, don't let yourself starve. So I'm definitely a firm believer in eating when you're hungry and that is what I do. So sometimes I get hungry earlier in the morning and so I just don't stick to a schedule and I'll just eat when I want to. So for my second meal, for my snack in between the two meals, I had two hard boiled eggs. I mashed them up and I put a, a tablespoon of mayonnaise. So I just had some egg salad and I did have a uh, mozzarella cheese stick as well. And then for dinner, I just ate and I had three eggs uh, cooked in one tablespoon of butter. It actually wasn't even one tablespoon. I think it was like a half a tablespoon of butter because like I said, I don't wanna eat a lot of fat at night. So, which did help last night. I didn't feel nauseous last night. So I'm thinking my body just doesn't like to consume that much fat at night. So I did add a little bit of butter tonight though, but I had the three eggs cooked over hard and yeah, that was it. So I do have to say what was challenging tonight was smelling the steak that my husband was cooking and not being able to eat it. <sighs> so three days of the egg fast and yeah, I'm kind of getting sick of eggs at this point. But you know what? Like lunches are never hard for me because I usually have an egg chaffle sandwich every single day anyway. Um, so that's not hard for me because that's just normal for me. Eating eggs for dinner, that's the challenging part uh, because I really don't feel like eggs at this point, but I'm going to finish the five days and actually Friday, which is gonna be my fifth day, uh, we're going camping Friday night to Sunday. So I'm gonna be cooking eggs in the RV while camping. So in about an hour, I am gonna test my glucose and ketones again and see where they're at. And yeah, that's it for day three. See you on day four.
right guys, so day four is done. Before I get into day four, I totally forgot to test my glucose and my ketones last night. So I tested them this morning. So I, for my glucose, I was 72 and my ketones, I was 1.2. So I'm in optimal ketosis. So 0.5 to one is nutritional ketosis and one to three is optimal ketosis, which is definitely where you wanna be. And whenever I do the egg fast, I usually end end up between one and three. It's usually like one point something. I don't know if I've ever been over two. I don't know. But anyway, so really good numbers this morning. And so day four, let's talk about what I ate and how I am feeling. So skinny brew for breakfast, of course. And then for lunch, I had another egg chaffle sandwich. So I'm the type of person that I like simplicity. Okay. If you're new to my channel, maybe you don't know that, but if you're not new to my channel, then you've been hearing me say that a lot. I like simple. It's just, it's easy. It's simple. I have a chaotic life and it just works for me. And so I pretty much stick with the same meals most of the time. Unless I start to get sick of them, then I'll change things up. With the egg fast, you really don't have a ton of options, but you do have options. So there are lots of recipes that you can try if you do wanna change your meals up. And I am going to link them below. I'm gonna hook you guys up for different recipes on the egg fast, like snickerdoodle crepes and egg fast fettuccine Alfredo. They have egg fast garlic bread. You can make an egg loaf, you can make quiche. So there are definitely uh, different options options for you. For me, I kind of stick with the same stuff. So I may be boring for you guys, but it's what works for me. And I know that I get results when I eat these. So that's why I stick with that. But I do have to say, <laughs> I didn't have a problem with lunch. I usually don't when I have my egg chaffle sandwich. It's my favorite sandwich, just super yummy. It makes me feel like I'm actually eating a sandwich when I use the, cheese, the cheesy chaffles. So I don't have a problem with that. But oh, guys, I did not want to eat eggs for dinner tonight. I actually felt, I was like dreading it. I felt on day four, like I usually do on day five. So I don't know what I am going to be feeling tomorrow. And we're going camping, so I'm gonna have to eat eggs while we're camping, <sighs> but I'm gonna do it. So day four is done though. Uh, for snacks today, I had the same thing that I had yesterday. I had some egg salad, two hard boiled eggs with a tablespoon of mayonnaise. And I also had two slices of ch sharp cheddar cheese. And then for dinner, I did not feel like eating eggs. So I had chaffles, just regular chaffles without the cheese. And I put uh, some butter on it with some uh, sugar-free chalk zero maple syrup. So it tasted really good. Doesn't even really feel like I'm eating eggs. So I needed that. So that was day four, very simple very similar to what I've done and my ketone levels are fantastic so I'm really excited to finish this egg fast. Here's a recap of day four, and I will see you tomorrow, day five, final day. Whoop. All right, guys, so day five is done of the keto egg fast. Whoop, whoop. I do have to say that, yeah, kind of done with eggs, which I was after day three. So skinny brew for breakfast, for lunch, I had another truffle sandwich uh, with two uh, cheesy scrambled eggs in between. And it looks like it's a mess when I'm putting the sandwich together, um, but it actually stays pretty well as I'm eating it. So uh, it's a really easy sandwich and it's very tasty and it's just great for the egg fast. For snacks, I did have a couple of sharp cheddar cheese slices and I was pretty hungry around 3.30, 4 o'clock. So I made some more chaffles, some cheesy chaffles and just eating them alone, not even as a sandwich. They're just really, really, really good. So I definitely enjoyed that. And then for dinner, we went camping. We, I am in the RV right now. Uh, so I did not want to have eggs. Let me just say that right now. I did not want to have eggs for dinner. But I did. I finished the keto egg fast. I made scrambled eggs, cheesy scrambled eggs again, um, just simple. And my family had shells and cheese with ham. I definitely could have eaten that ham, I'll tell you that. But I stuck with my eggs and finished it strong.
So there it is, five days of the egg fast. Also, I tested my ketones. I didn't, I forgot to do them that night. So I tested them the next morning and my glucose was really good, 82, I believe. I was not in ketosis. I, I was 0.3. I don't understand that. I did the five days of the egg fast and stayed in ketosis pretty much after day two. I was like 1.2, 1.3 and then finished the keto egg fast and of course I did it in the morning and I know ketones are lower in the morning but I was 0.3 not even in ketosis so if anyone if that's happened to anyone else uh, comment below let me know because I just find it very strange so yeah but I will be sharing my results with you in the next clip all right guys egg fast results let's just get into it so first, let's just talk about last weekend. So the two days before I started the egg fast, which was 4th of July weekend. Um, if you have been following my journey and you saw my last couple of videos talking about my sciatic nerve pain, then you know how much pain I've been in. Oh my gosh. Last weekend and into this, this week, worst week of my life, just horrible. Uh, long story short, I ended up pulling my back out and I pinched my SI joint and the sciatic nerve runs right in front of that joint. So I was just feeling excruciating pain all week long. So anyway, last weekend was terrible, so much pain. And I was just feeling sorry for myself and just really bad. And for someone that knows that food makes me feel good, even if it's just temporarily, I turned to food last weekend and so I just ate crappy all weekend and I knew I was starting the egg fast and I always had that mindset too like oh I can eat bad you know because I'm doing the egg fast next week just definitely something I need to change but anyway it is what it is I ate crappy foods and I ended up gaining seven pounds in two days okay queen of gaining water weight <laughs> if there's anything I do well it's gain weight after a cheat day it's just ridiculous. I'm actually refilming this clip because I actually filmed it yesterday. And yesterday I was beating myself up for it. I was feeling sorry for myself. I was feeling like a failure. And I was editing my video and I'm looking, I'm watching the video and I'm like, girlfriend, you gotta snap out of it. You know what? This happens. It's all a learning process. It's all about figuring out how to make mistakes, but be okay with them and be able to bounce back, right? Like we talk about that all the time. And I'm watching myself and I'm like, oh my gosh, you're, you're falling into that hole again, you know, of just feeling like a failure, feeling like a disappointment. And what do I want to do when I feel like that? I want to eat more. So stop. So I'm actually refilming this because I have a new mindset today. It is what it is. I can't change the mistakes that I made, but I can change where I go from here, right? The choices that I make from here on out. And I got back on track. So I had gained seven pounds, so I was 234 starting the egg fast, and I woke up after the five-day keto egg fast, and I was 226, so I lost the seven pounds that I gained, uh, plus another pound, and that's typically how my egg fasts go. I usually lose what I gained, plus like one or two pounds, so back on track, ready to do this. All right guys, there it is, day one through five of the keto egg fast. I love the simplicity of this fast. I love that it helps me to just get back on track and it centers me. I just, I will always use this as a tool to get back on track. The keto egg fast obviously isn't something that you want to do long term. It's obviously not healthy to do. It's just a tool that helps you get back on track. And honestly, as someone who does mess up way more than I want to, I have this tool to help me. It is one of the tools that I use in my journey to help me get back on track. And I encourage you guys to do the same thing. If you've done the egg fast, comment below. Tell me what your experience was. If you've never done the egg fast and you do have some questions, uh, definitely make sure to check out my first video that I mentioned uh, in the beginning of this video, but also never hesitate to reach out to me and ask me anything you'd like. That is it for this video. Stay tuned for my next video. I actually went on a camping trip as you saw and I share how I stayed carnivore for my camping trip. So I shared what I ate and also how I felt. And 
there was a little bit of struggling there. So I'm going to share everything with you guys on my next video. So definitely click that bell for notifications if you haven't done so already. So you're notified when I upload a video. All right, guys. So that is it. Thanks so much for sticking around with me and supporting me through this journey. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, comment below, and I will see you at the next video. Don't forget to join my support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. That link is below as well. And don't forget to check out the goodies that I have provided you guys in the description too. All right, guys, see you soon. Stay safe and choose health. Bye. Whoops. So my nose itches. <laughs> All right, guys, so there it is. Uh, no, wait. That's not what I want to say. I give you all the rules. I give you no. all about my journey to lose. And overcoming the food addiction is the biggest puzzle. No. Overcoming the food addiction is the hardest. What am I even saying? All right, guys, egg fast. Have kids, they said. It'll be fun, they said.